All right, but I can't get enough money. First off, I'm gonna give all Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakat Badash, Double Odyssey, Possible, the Great Millstone, I learned it from honors and the elders and brothers out there pushing the words to walk on the earth. The aqua, the listening and learning. Today's video is going to be entitled, What type of Israelite are you? All right. What type of Israelite are you? Now I got inspired to do this lesson because I've pretty much been paying attention to a lot of different brothers that within these different camps. I've been paying attention to the behavior of brothers that's not in camps. And I'll just be looking at the things that they say and the way that they maneuver when it comes to the truth. And the thing is, a lot of brothers that claim that they're Israelites, they're not in this thing for the correct reasons. All right? You got a lot of Israelites out there that's in this truth to make money. You got a lot of Israelites out there that they know that they're Israelites, but they still are not pushing the word. Because there's a lot of Israelites out there that know who they are and they know scriptures. But they still don't teach. All right? And we understand that not everybody's going to be a teacher. But if you're one of those individuals that literally all the time bring out scriptures, you're ready to cut people, you're ready to debate, or you're ready to show people what the truth is all about, and you always bringing out scriptures, you need to be out there teaching, man. All right? And it should be no excuse. I know brothers that claim that they've been in, they've been knowing that they're an Israelite for like six, seven, eight years, and they still now on the highways and the byways, man. They don't upload any videos. They don't do nothing. They just out there living and saying I'm an Israelite, and you know they hate the white man. That's it. That's all they have. They have this like the scriptures say. A lot of you all out there have the zeal, but not according to knowledge. All right. A lot of you all do not really understand what you are a part of. The most I called a lot of us into this truth. And the thing is, a lot of you all are not taking advantage of your calling. Y'all out there bullshitting. Like I said, you got Israelites out here that's trying to make money. You got Israelites out here that's, that's straight up lazy. You got Israelites out here that's breaking the law on purpose. <laughs> Still getting tattoos. Still eating pork on the low. Probably still smoking cigarettes or whatever it is on the low. But you got the nerve to be like, yeah, I'm an Israelite. And you got the nerve to say, uh, you ready to cut people and you ready to get angry when the time is necessary. You're not in this truth for the right reasons, man. And just for that, the most High is going to get rid of you, a lot of you, man. Because a lot of y'all are not grounded in this truth. A lot of y'all have not been growing in the spirit. Y'all don't have any wisdom, man. Y'all don't have any experience. The scriptures speak about that. The scriptures speak about experience leads up to hope. And hope leads up to faith. All right? And then faith will lead to fear. And then that fear will get you working. A lot of y'all don't have that spirit upon you, man. And it shows a lot. And that's why I was like, man, what type of Israelite are you? Are you an Israelite that's in this truth for yourself? Are you just excited because you realize that the kingdom of heaven is only for Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and you just waiting for the Lord to come back, not knowing that he might come back and destroy your ass? All right? So when, when you come into this truth, man, you have a greater responsibility now. This is not a thing where you come into it and you start partying and all you want to do is just curse out the white man. All you want to do is just tell your people they're going off, so forth and so on. This is a, this is a lifestyle now. Because you got to remember, the scriptures tell us that when we get into the kingdom, we're not going to have to teach anymore. We're not going to have to teach our, our people who they are because the law is going to be written in our inward parts. So you got to understand that the kingdom is going to be all about wisdom and order. All right? It's not going to be about you living any type of way. And so that should be the same mindset you should have right now. You should be in that same mindset like, look, man, I got to do what was necessary for Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. 
Because if you're not doing what's necessary by the Lord, then you in this, like I said, for the wrong reasons. Because that's the number one reason why we pushing this truth, to give the warning to our people, to let them know that the Lord is on the way. And once the Lord returns, that's it. The way that you thinking now, all of this shit y'all doing on the side or in the back or on the sly, that shit gonna stop, man. It ain't gonna be no more debating, ain't gonna be no more making money off the truth, ain't gonna be no more, I, I, I'm gonna follow the scriptures the way that I wanna follow them, all right? When Yahweh Shah returns, he's gonna set even the elect in order because that fear is gonna, be, uh, is gonna come upon all of us, man. Point blank, period. So you gotta really look in the mirror and like the scripture said, you gotta examine yourself. Are you in this for the right reasons? Are you really doing this within truth and sincerity? Are you really eager? Like the scripture say, you're supposed to be apt to teach, right? Are you really eager to go out there to warn your people, to give out the warning, to let people know exactly what's getting ready to happen? Are you repenting daily? Do you really even fear the Most High? A lot of y'all gotta ask yourself that question. Do you even fear the Most High? Are you scared of the Lord? Because the thing is, a lot of y'all don't even show that you all are scared of the Lord, man. Y'all just be out here doing whatever it is that you want to do, and then you wake up in the morning, call Lion Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. All praises, all praises, all praises. <laughs> y'all like Israelite robots, man. Y'all just copycats. Y'all not, y'all don't have no individuality at all, man. Y'all not actually out there trying to grow. And if you're not trying to grow, guess what? You're going to be left alone, man. Because Yahweh Shah is looking for what? He's looking for people that's going to be on fire. And he's looking for leaders. He's looking for rulers. How you going to grow and be a ruler if you keep saying, if you keep staying on the same level? That shit don't make no sense. All right? That's why the scriptures say you're supposed to make your calling and your election sure. How do you do that? First and foremost, doing the work. You got to do the work, man. And then you got a lot of Israelites out there that's over-righteous. And the scriptures speak about that. The scriptures say, don't be over-righteous. Don't uh, let that over-righteous spirit destroy you. Roughly paraphrasing, all right? Because you got a lot of Israelites that are coming to this, and they'll be like, yeah, man, we keeping the law, the law, the law, the law, the law. <laughs> they'll be doing the most for no reason not understanding that we still in captivity not understanding you can't keep the law 100% not understanding you going off whenever you're not even trying to not understanding that the scriptures say we're going to be saved by faith <laughs> a lot of y'all just really want to get straight into that yeah man you know uh, we in that uh the new covenant right now, man. We can't be going off this and that, man. When you're going off every single day. So a lot of y'all are over-righteous. That's why, like I said, once again, what type of Israelite are you? You can't be in this truth for whatever your reasons are, man. The number one reason the Most High called a lot of us into this truth is to bring out his word. And a lot of y'all don't even bring out the full truth. A lot of y'all do not even eat the whole roll. Y'all don't want to do that, man. A lot of y'all literally are just out there picking scriptures that you want to bring out because it cuts Christians, it cuts churches, or whatever the case may be, and it makes you feel good. It makes you feel like you're a part of something that's bigger than yourself, which you are, all right? But it gets you to the point where now you're starting to boast, you start to brag, and you start to lose yourself. The only thing you're thinking about is, oh, man, you know, man, fuck the holidays, this and that, so forth and so on, man. You're not thinking clearly. So once again, man, what type of Israelite are you? Are you really in this truth for the Lord? Because when we go out there and we push this word, man, we letting people know what it is that the Most High is getting ready to do to this earth. And we always say we don't want to get caught in the midst of the judgment that's getting ready to happen. All right. So if you're not trying to actually help wake up the elect 
with truth and sincerity, you need to sit your ass down, man. Double take. Think about it. <laughs> Stop. Think about it. <laughs> like Martin said on Run Tell That. <laughs> Come on, man. A lot of y'all ain't ready. So when you come into this truth, like I said, the scriptures tell you about drinking the sincere milk and then you grow to the point where, you know, you're ready to eat the meat. All right. You got to grow. And then after that, you're supposed to be examples to the flock. The scriptures say ensembles. All right. You're supposed to grow. So then that way, once you're ready to teach, people can look at what type of person you are. OK. And then they can learn the correct way. And then once they learn the correct way, guess what? You bringing in good fruit, like Yahweh Shah wants. He doesn't want fruit where you're gonna bring them in and they ain't gonna fall, you know, on that stony ground, they're gonna fall on the thorns. All right. He wants fruit that's gonna continue to bring in more fruit, which is the elect. All right. So examine yourself, think about it. Don't just be one of those people that just want to leave comments. And you act like you in this truth, but on the low, man, you ain't ready. A lot of y'all ain't ready to be real men yet, man. A lot of y'all ain't ready to actually step forward and be part of the, the most high's elect. Y'all ain't ready to be part of the 144,000, man. Y'all still babies, man. Gotta step it up, man. We in the last days. This shit can pop off this year, it can pop off next year, man. But we already know we close. And like I always say, when Jacob's trouble finally hits, you do not want to be, you do not want to be hesitant, man. You don't want to be second guessing yourself when shit hit the fan. As soon as you see Jacob's trouble go down, you just start having flashbacks. Like, oh damn, I, I was doing this, I was doing that, I should have done this, I should have done that. That ain't the type of spirit you want. You're supposed to be confident, man. When Jacob's trouble happens, you're supposed to be like, man, I did what I was supposed to do to my best abilities every single day, man. Because if, if you don't have that confidence, you ain't going to have no faith. You ain't going to have no faith at all. And you're going to lose in the end. All right? So like I said, look in the mirror. Think about it. And really tell yourself, really ask yourself, am I really in this truth? Okay? Just think about that. So I'm going to end it with that. So I hope this is edifying. So with that, I'm going to say, call Halayim, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakai Kodash, double honors to the apostles of the great millstones I'm learning this truth from, honor to the elders and brothers out there pushing this word through the four corners of the earth within truth and sincerity, and Shalom to the Aquat that's listening and learning. And Yahweh Rod I'll be back with another lesson. Keep pushing, Yasharala. Keep pushing. We almost out of here. Shalom.